Well guys, I want to help you guys understand what's going on in the Hobbs family. Uh, just got done with day nine of the ship shop. Gabby put her pictures up yesterday, so check out on Facebook, Gabby Hobbs. Look at her transformation photos, it's gonna blow your mind. Like we looked at them and we are just blown away, but I think deeper than the photos, the photos will blow your mind, but read her post about the, the internal transformation that is taking place and the shift that's taking place. It's going to inspire you, I can guarantee you that. So check that out. Also want to let you guys know, we're, we're leaving, we're headed out. Uh, I'm sitting in the RV right now, but on Friday, myself, my three daughters, and Gabby are going to New York City for six days. And then we're coming from New York City straight over to Denver. We're going to go catch some concerts, go see all the things that, uh, that, um, that Gabby loves, and experience that, and, and then be able to experience that with our three daughters. And the two boys are staying back. So that's what we're doing. That's where we're headed off to. Um, but there's something even more exciting than that. And I'm going to tell you guys it real quick, real quickly. Um, so we booked flights to London. Um, we are leaving on. I, I have the dates here so I can see them. We're leaving for London on, on October 10th. We're going to arrive in London, and then we're going to go uh, from London. We're going to fly up to Edinburgh on the border of Scotland. We're going to spend three days there. Then we're going to fly from Scotland to Birmingham in, in the UK. We're going to spend three days there. We're going to fly then from Birmingham to Bristol, and then we're going to spend um, three days there, and then from Bristol back to London for the official launch of Team Beachbody, of the Team Beachbody coaching opportunity, and then the event with Shanti in London itself, and then we're going to leave and come back home right after that on um, Sunday. So uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of Idaho. It seems like we're, we've, we're, we've been traveling a lot this, this year, but I want to share just a couple of things with you guys. You have choices that you get to make in life. And it was about a year ago that Gabby and I were looking at a home and it was a home that was very extravagant in Salt Lake City. Um, extravagant so much that it was about 10 times the value of our home that we live in. But it just didn't feel, we walked through the house three times, we took our parents to it four times and it just didn't feel right because we felt that we would, rather than maintain and manage and have a huge extravagant home like that, that we would rather experience the world with our children and travel more and experience those things versus having a huge and large mortgage payment. So if you see us traveling a lot, that's why. Another thing that I want to share with you guys is that it's so important, any of you guys that are out there, August is the month. I heard this from my uh, one of my mentors, Gary Vaynerchuk, and August is the month when everybody goes on holiday. Everybody goes on vacation and it's time to sit by the pool. People are out exploring and hiking and that's all good. But I'll tell you what, you'll see us travel to New York City. You're going to see us travel to Denver. You're going to see us have family come in for the solar eclipse, which is right here in, uh, we're in the band. So it's like a super busy month, but you're going to see me working harder, 3X, 5X than I've ever worked before because this is the month. Guys, that sets apart the champions from the people that are not so champion. I'm just going to put it straight out like that on the ones that will pull off the brakes and take their little vacation. I believe vacations are great, but uh, you can still uh, do something you love and stay consistent at it at the same time as um, in enjoying life and vacationing and, and having a balanced life. Um, so that's my challenge. You guys, if you're out there saying that you have what it takes to create your goals and dreams and you're, that you're going after them, then this is the month where you really get to prove it. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys is it's, this is the month to do that. I'm going to do that. So as your friend, coach, leader, and mentor, you're going to see me showing up at that level, even though we're going to be traveling. So, uh, Speaking of like Team Beachbody, you know, Gabby has these awesome result pictures. You're going to check them out on Facebook right now. Uh, and you're going to be blown away by them, but most importantly, the internal transformation. I was thinking about how often, like, I don't, I want you guys to understand something about me, the way that I think. I don't, do not watch the news. I do not look at the trending news on Facebook. I never see it. Like, I make an effort if I'm like at a hotel and the news is on in the, in the, in the gym, I turn it off specifically for this reason. Is it's that, you know, it's like if you just focus on that and that's all that you see, this world is a scary place and, and, and it seems like everything is wrong with this world. And when you do that, guys, you focus on all the things that could be wrong and going wrong in your life as well. And those news channels, they emphasize how bad it is. And, it's, and, and so I understand that it's not easy in life. So it's stressful. It's, it can be like stressful, scary. It gives you a 
what it, what the news does, it gives you a poor perspective of good versus evil and you begin to feel like there's no hope. And so, guys, but I want, what I want you guys to understand, like you guys see me excited about what I do. Like I, I know that there's hope and I, I hope through these daily videos I can share a glimpse of that hope with you guys. Like I said, it's been seven years since I have stopped looking at news or watching any news for that, that for that matter. So I know that if you're still hanging with me and you're watching this video, that you know that there's something good out there. Um, I was thinking back to New Orleans just a couple weeks ago with the super workout. We had 25,000 people, you know, shoulder to shoulder, packed down the, the entire streets were shut down. And they were working out to these super trainers like Tony Horton, Shanti, Sagi Kalev, Autumn Calabrese. And there's something powerful about, you know, dripping sweat and, and struggling through a plank or a bear crawl and looking over and seeing somebody else struggle. And saying, hey, 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 look, you can do this. Stay strong. You can do this. I get the chills thinking about it. There's something super power about that. So even though it looks like there's a lot of bad in the world, I want you to know that there's a lot of people doing good things. And I'm going to call those people Team Beachbody Coaches. So let's give a moment to shout out any Team Beachbody Coach that you know and those, these amazing people. And... and for what they're doing, for trying to make a difference in this world, for being positive, for being uplifting. And there's something powerful about that, about looking over and saying, hey, don't stop, don't give up, keep pushing forward. And the cool thing about that, guys, that I love about that, like, yes, that was in New Orleans, and yes, we're going to do that in London at the Shanti event, but that's what we do every single, like, if you're like, what does Scotty do as a Beachbody coach? That's what we do every single day inside of our groups, even though it's online and on Facebook or on a video chat, that's what we're doing. We're looking to the person next to us and saying, hey, you've got this, man. You're not alone. Don't stop. Keep pushing. You can accomplish what you want. You you deserve to have that body that, that, you, that, that you will love and you'll be proud of and that God has given you. So... Like I love Team Beachbody. I love what Beachbody coaches are doing, and and not just Beachbody coaches. Anybody in the fitness world, whether you're doing CrossFit, you're running, you're biking, you're the PE teacher at your school, whatever it is, it's like you're making a difference and impact. So I want you guys to understand that. So um, I'm gonna read something. I have it right here um, that for you, you guys that are out there trying to make this difference, because. We're outnumbered with, with the amount of negative that's going on in the world or or expressed or, or shared through the news channels or people complaining on Facebook. We're, we're far outnumbered, but I believe a few people can make a huge difference and, and there's a lot of us, so I know that we can make a huge difference. So I'm going to share this with you because if you're one of these people um, that's, that's working hard to make an impact or to be a, a, um, a light to the world in some way or another, you're going to have you're going to have more opposition. And so you've got to understand that from the beginning. You're going to have opposition, uh, but the opposition is made there to challenge you to grow, to become better. When you become better, you make more of a difference. So you have to understand that process. But I'm going to read this quote from Mother Teresa and end you guys on that. It says this. Uh, she has so many words of wisdom. So it says, if you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyways. Number two, if, or it's just a, a poem, I think, so I'll just read it out. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyways. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyways. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyways. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good today, anyways. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you have got, anyways. So that's my quick message for you guys today that are out there being a light to the world. And Jamie, I see you on there. Looking forward to seeing you as well, brother. Uh, but I'm gonna challenge anyone out there that's watching this to, to make the decision to be a light, to be a positive influence on people around us. The world needs more of that and it's not gonna change unless we change individually. I love you guys, have an incredible day. And one last thought, because I'm feeling inspirational today, is the world and people around you are gonna have plenty of bad things to say about you, to gossip about you, um, they're gonna judge you, they're gonna say bad things about you at any time. But the one thing that I think is most important is don't let one of those people be yourself. Like. Take an honest look at the conversation you're having with the self, with yourself, how you're talking about yourself, how you're speaking about yourself, what you're thinking about yourself. And remember, 
that no enemy on the outside can do you no harm if there's no enemy on the inside. I love you guys. Have an incredible day, and we'll, get, we'll see you guys tomorrow.